Greetings, welcome back to Plant City. Look at this beautiful Moringa tree. Wow, look how dark and green it is. Mmm, mmm, super peanutty, all organic, super fresh. Coming to you straight from a Moringa farm that we helped establish about five years ago in the Moringa Growers Co-op that's now really developing into a large scale Moringa farming operation, as well as extending out to carry other orchard style plants. Like you can see back here, papayas, look at these huge papayas. We've got guavas, papayas, lots of papayas up there. And interplanted in between each one of these Moringa trees is a supplemental food plant. So we've got tons of fresh papayas, we have lots and lots of citrus. Right now we've got different types of citrus here. Oranges, um, uh, pom what, what are those big ones? Those, uh, those really, really big ones, I forget the name. Palmellos, palmellos, so we have palmellos, grapefruits. Uh, we've got those little orange currants. All different types of citrus interplanted between Mama Moringa's. A beautiful orchard style that we helped to develop about five years ago in Plant City. You can see we interplanted some bananas. And, and now the citrus is about four or five years old and it's really starting to, to grow up. Good size and the Moringa's are helping to protect these trees. Now all of these Moringa trees were frozen back to the ground in 2017 completely frozen back to the ground i even planted this row out right here this entire row on this side these trees are only two years old not even look this is from a, from from growth off of a tree that i planted here that was no thicker than this two years ago and now it's this big and it's all organic and all we do is we just keep loading it up with chips wood chips and uh, it's beautiful. We've got about two, three, four, five rows. It's really only on like maybe a half an acre to a quarter of an acre worth of property. Um, and we've got lots, mulberries, guavas, um, lots of citrus. Uh, we've got avocado trees, macadamia nut trees. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, they're smart. They're actually air layering too. Wonderful. They're doing some good things out here, developing this, and they're going to be getting tax credits uh, for having so many trees on their property. And so we're working with the state uh, together with the owners and signing on new members. If you'd like to be a member of the co-op, just give me a ring, 813-690-6516, or text us, 813-567-3100, or send us an email at grow at moringagrowerscoop.org and learn with us. We're going to have classes and courses to teach you how to harvest and cut back your moringa trees in a commercial setting. Okay, so all the trees that you see we cut back in December, January, just before our first freezes, potential freezes. So we brought everything back to pretty much what you see here. This is pretty much what we brought the trees back to in December, January. And then within four to five months later, the trees look like this. And so we come back at this time of year and we get the trees just back to where, see like this, this branch was cut here in December, okay? And then from December till now, it grew this branch, this branch, and this branch up and it was flush full of greens. So what we did was we left a couple inches, six to eight inches off of that branch so that way 
and then we cut it and so that way it can sprout from here 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 and here and this will bush out again over the next six months we'll, we'll harvest these back in about six months from now uh, maybe five four or five months from now maybe just before fall you know just before winter comes and we'll get these cut back again they'll have drumsticks and everything on these trees by the end of summer and they'll be huge they are going to be so huge so since 2017 i've had to come back it was i had to cut it back this low even in 2017 this tree has regrown from there this this and this since 2017 and then in 2018 i came and cut it back because it had already grown up and then cut this here in 2018 and then in 2019 i came back and cut it here okay so um every year is like another layer is another layer on top of another layer and then 2019 and then 2020 and now here it is 2021 and i've left this one here and who knows maybe by t by the end of 2021 we might want to bring it back down to here again so that way we get rid of all the knobs and things like that and it has a chance to redo it all over again. So what we're doing right now is, I, I did these the other day, I did these last week. These ones we got about two kilos worth of greens just from these three trees here. And you can see all the way back, we've had to cut all this back since 17, 18, 19, 20 and now here it is 21 boom so every year we're able to let another stage of succession and we're not cutting it at the same spot every time so it doesn't get just knobby and knobby right we'll bring it up another notch and all of these will be super bushy here in the next couple of months actually probably in the next two to three weeks they'll be bushy let me get started here just wanted to show you guys exactly how you can get some of the trees cut back in a commercial setting I gotta do some weeding around here and really just showing these babies some love, getting them trimmed up so we can get these greens on the racks to dry. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kendrick Henry, the founder of the Ringer Growers Co-op. I'd love to help you get established. I'd love to help mentor you, you into the Moringa business, into the farming business industry. I'm easy to get a hold of. You can email me, call me. I'm always answering the phones. People are surprised that they can get a hold of me. You can still get a hold of me. So give me a ring and uh, learn about Moringa through me personally, one-on-one, -on -one. get a consultation, or uh, just watch all the videos that I've been posting over the last couple of years. I've got hundreds of videos, not only on the Moringa Growers Co-op YouTube channel, but also on the Numa Nursery YouTube channel. Thanks everybody. Peace, love, prosperous growing. Until next time, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.